What's up, guys? So we're actually here at Jonathan Stappa's place. What's up, guys? And you just started a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, just did. And you just started with uh, Dwarf and Super Dwarf Retakes, too. Yes, I did. Do you want to explain to us what you got here? I can't remember the genetics. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> She's a Sunfire Snow. So purple, Annery, and Sunfire. She's Dwarf and Super Dwarf, and she's probably going to make a mess on your carpet. Uh, it's all right. All right, check this out. So we got a whole wall of our boreals here. That's pretty sick. You got your reading heat panel up top. Yep. Some nice lighting, cool perches, good hide and water. Everything the body needs. Yeah, look at this. Man, some of this stuff is crazy. That's yeah, an anaconda face, northern emerald. I love the northerns. The basins are are amazing. I mean, they're they're epic, but I don't know, there's something about the northerns for me. You're into the northerns, obviously, huh? Oh, yeah. Now, that doesn't look like a northern. Is that a northern? No, northern? that's actually a basin. I can pull it. Yeah, I'm somebody knows what they're talking about even from far away. <laughs> yeah. It's not me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look at these things. Wow. Oh, that is a guys. male. That is killer. Looks like he's going to have some more white coming in. Who produced this animal? Yeah, actually this is from Nerd. I got two of these uh, and then I got a couple bigger ones right here perched up. Oh, barbed wire. Yeah, it's got, got the nice white on the belly there too. I love them. I love just staring at them. I just got to find something for this one now. So you've got you've got the Amazon Basin Emeralds. You've got Northerns. You've yep. got the Anaconda Phase yep. Northerns. You got yourself a nice little Arboreal Super Dwarf over here now. What, what's in these ones? Oh, I see this guy here. Yeah, that's just another basin. Just another basin. That's all. Got two females. Female, female, male, and male. Okay, so you got 2.2 of them. Yep. And an empty spot for somebody over here someday, huh? Yep, gonna find something. And, then... and what's in these cute little things? I got some Bioc Neonates. Okay, cool. And where are these ones from? I got them from, uh, what's his name? I just, what? Bob Clark. That's pretty cute. Red baby, yellow baby. Yep. But this isn't your only reptile room either. No, I got a snake room right downstairs. We can go down there and check it out. You guys want to check it out? So this is the other room, huh? What's behind the magic curtain? Actually, I'm building a small little colubrid room back here. In colubrid my, room? In an incubator. Stuff back here right now, we can check it out. Got a little racks back here. All right. Then I have actually had them build me this. Oh yeah, this is perfect. That's a pretty Mondo incubator. Well, actually, it was all wood. Gary just took it and, you know, fixed it up a little bit for Skinned me. Skinned it. Yep. There you go. So, anyway, I haven't hooked it up yet. Got it going because I don't have nothing coming. Yet. Well, no eggs yet. This is probably one of the most unique collections I've ever seen because of all the empty tubs. <laughs> I don't know what that's like at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the ball. That's okay. my big problem. Well, there's another five that go in there, but they're paired up right behind you. Oh, you're actually breeding it even. Breeding for hopefully to get some red dragons. And I actually have a red dragon right over there if you want to see it. Let's see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love man, it. it's, it's really red already. Yep. I love uh, it. Man. Obviously, the blood boa stuff gets more and more intense as they grow. Oh, yeah. But look at that thing. Looks like a little peach. These are actually the parents. Okay. Now, did you buy the parents as adults then? Yeah, Along I bought the parents. The I bought the baby first, and then he said he was done with that project, so I bought I bought them. I was like, hey, I, I can't get enough of that. I love this thing. So. No, that's killer. We got some blackberries. What is a blackberry besides the old phone before the iPhone? This is the black blackberry. So it's Motley Leopard. Just like in Eclipse, but these are Central American. Eclipse have got Colombian in them. So these are all Central American? Yep. That's the mean one. That's sick. No, not ain't the mean one. <laughs> I like the mean ones. Every time I do a video like that where I open a cage and the snake is hissing, I get comments like, I wish that guy worked with retics, then put him in his place. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, cutie? It's just like uh, bull snakes don't bite, you know? Wow. So you look bad. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It usually hisses as soon as you open it. Hi. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, neither <laughs> did you. Those have like way more sensitive heat pits. So you gotta watch like around your face and stuff like that. You on their on their face and it really makes them jump. There it is. Yeah. It's okay, dude. So the Central American version is called a blackberry. And then the eclipse is Colombian. Colombian motley. Leopard. Leopard, same thing. But yep. the leopard is uh, always came from Central American, yeah. right? That's got both in it. So that one's a cross, yep. and this one is pure. I got you. Hey, uh, hey, hey! Be nice. Yeah, you're okay. 
honestly, I mean, give him hold, hold him, have, get those positive experiences for him now. You know, there you go. that's the way to do it. People are always like, ah, oh, you're freaking it out, you know. But my thing is like, I gotta be me around the snake. Yeah. That's what they need to get used to. You gotta get used to holding it. So, yeah. Yeah. So as long as I can be calm and handle the animal and mm -hmm. just be me and do my thing, and and then put it away with a nice, on a positive note, you know, good experience, and kind of stack those memories up in their brain. Ooh. Holy cats! Look at that tail. Guyana boa, huh? Yep. Dang, I wonder why they call them red tail boas. The head's almost as red as the tail is. Oh, wow. Look it's how much that, so this is the same as that black one. So it got hypo. But you got the hypo gene in there that's like busting it all up. Look at that. That is cool. Man, I don't know. You guys like boas? I think boas are freaking cool. I love boas. You got one of these. One. Too, I remember the the OG IMG I saw for the first time down in Texas. What a full belly. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. And I love how they just keep getting darker and darker and darker as they grow. Man, I can't wait till she, she's older. I want to see how the, she progresses. Look at that. <laughs> That's killer. There's another cool bow. It's one of my favorites right here. Look at that. That's that white on white. Moon glow bow up. Yep. That's hypo anery albino. Yep. Pretty cool. This, this is actually like genetically very similar to the snake you just bought from me. The Sunfire Annery yep. Albino. Just with the retics, you got the purple phase and then the Sunfire really, the hypo just kind of washes everything. Whereas the Sunfire brings a lot out. So that's pretty cool. Oh, we got yeah, bullets. You, know, you guys want to see that. You know this is everybody's like bucket list animal. Oh yeah. Yeah, how'd you feel when you picked yours up? Is it worth it? Should uh, I go, and go buy one right now? It's worth it. <laughs> I was like a little kid jumping up and down. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Is that male or female? This is a male, I gotta get, I'm trying to get a female. Good luck with that. I know. Look at that, it's very cool. Is it okay if I yeah, go ahead. Out? Go ahead. Look, he's like halfway from red to black. So these things hatch out like red babies, and you can still see it here. You see those red undertones? But I mean, it's going black fast. That's so cool, look at those big bulldog heads those things have. You got quite the little hideaway collection over here. <laughs> I do. I, mean, I don't even know what was my favorite. What do you guys think? You have to tell me what you want to see more of, and maybe we'll come back down a little another time, take them out when it's sunny out or something. Man, look at that thing. How long have you had him? Uh, this has been probably about six or seven months. Was he red red when you got him then? Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he's changing fast. Yep, he's real cool. Real chill too. Now that's Brad's. Yep. It's gotta be Brad's. Yep. See, I only do the super doors, but I know who's hatching what everywhere. <laughs> Is that a Western then? Yes. That's cool. And he's ready to go. What's up, dude? Look at that flat head. You're all right. No, you're all right. Come here. Come here. You're cool. Look at that. Look at the difference here. Going from that Bolins, it has that big old knobby bulldog head, and then you got this guy with the little flat lizard head, like he's ready to wedge in a rock. That's pretty cool. Is he a good eater for you? Yes, he is. Good, good. Man, that's cool. I was waiting for Brad to hatch these forever. I don't know why. I wasn't going to buy one. I just. I just get excited when people make cool stuff. Yeah, I love that little, like I said, that little lizard head. No heat pits. Doesn't know he's a python. <laughs> <laughs> this little rack over here, I, I gotta say for me, this might be the best of the whole, and it's, it's 80% empty, and this might still be the best rack in the whole place, if you ask me. Yep. You wanna show us why? Yep. Which one you wanna see first? All of them. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll go with the mail. Oh my gosh, that thing is like jewelry. All right, so what are we looking at here? Eastern, Eastern Sanzinia. So these are from Madagascar. Yep. And the island is like a, it's like a, about a big ridge, mm -hmm. right? And the western side is all dry and doesn't get any precipitation. Yep. And so everything is like really red and dirt brown. And then the eastern side is lush and green like a rainforest. It's funny, there's a lot of greens, but there's very few, the other ones are called mandarins. Very few mandarins in Europe and everybody wants them. But out here, we've got 
We've got mandarins. We don't have the greens. Greens. Yep. So to see a green, and it's funny that this is a green because look at the color on it. There's nothing green about it yet. Not well, yet. he's getting a little, a little bit on he's a face. Getting a little, but they get this amazing, almost like Mangshan Viper mossy green color. And again with those huge, look at the head on that sucker. It, I mean, it just looks like a tree, uh, tree viper. They're so cool. <laughs> no kidding. I'm a little bit freaking out, guys. <laughs> How about you? This is the female. The female Eastern? Yep. He has two. One's never enough, I guess. Ooh. Hi. What's up, killer? So mellow, too. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's so cool. What's up, dude? Look at that thing. Now you just need to go get some, uh, you need to go get some of the mandarins. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the greens wasn't enough. Now, I was told it's impossible to find greens this day and age. It is very hard to find them. Yeah, so apparently not, not in the zoo. Now, there's the mandarin phase. This is the male. Which, this one's closer to adult coloration now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I honestly, I love these things. I mean, I like the greens too, but I don't think you can, I don't think you can discount how gorgeous these are. Look at the whites. So dramatically different from the Easterns, you know, is very, very rarely you get to see one right next to the other. Yeah. I can hear everybody now. Oh, I'm going to pick up 1.2 of those next year, probably. Yeah, that's <laughs> when I'll do it. I mean, this stuff is just, well, you know how it is. Obviously you find those, that exact right animal. You, you gotta scoop it, you know what I mean? You gotta catch that breeder in a moment of weakness and wave a big stack of cash in his face and that's how you get it, That's right? exactly how you get it. All right. I'm pretty sure that's how you got that female snow super dwarf when you didn't know what it was and everybody else <laughs> <laughs> wants them all the time for breeding. Those are like, you know, probably one of the most killer breeding ones. So that's a male, Western Sanzania. Okay, here you go. So here's that adult coloration we're talking about. There you go. So this is a Western or a mandarin and you can see what i mean by those kind of pasteled out smooth color i guess it's still got the speckles they're just maybe spread out because it's so much bigger and it, this, look at those jaws this feet, and the yellow on it's real real bright on her yeah yeah she almost looks like a hypo look at that thing hi honey now how old is she three years old and they usually start breeding around maybe four four safe to be five Safe as five? Yep. People probably do people do it at four, but I'm gonna wait till she's five. Yeah, there's no reason to rush it. That is killer. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I like the Sanzinias. <laughs> I didn't know how rare they were when I started working for him. I was like, wow, these are sick, and he was like, Yeah, that's my most rare snake. Okay, so so who is this guy? He works for you yep, now? This is Eric. Yeah, and Eric. I'm Eric. And, and you just have help to clean up and stuff like that? Yeah, clean Take up. Take care of the animals? He clean up. Actually, he teaches me how to play guitar and all that stuff, too. So Okay, so he's like your Rob. You yeah. know, Rob teaches me how to wear stretchy pants and dance <laughs> on uh, Patreon videos and cleans up all the snake poop. I don't know what else you could possibly be hiding in here to show us. I got mangroves. Man mangrove snakes? Yep. Like the rear fang? Yep. Boiga? Yep. Ooh. You guys want to see some mangroves? There's one. Oh, man. Super tiny. Yeah. That is so cute. So guys, this is a this is a little tiny boiga is a rear fang venomous, which uh, it's not too not too big of a deal, and they're usually not too. They're more bark than bite, honestly. Yep. Um, but they'll certainly bite if given a chance. You should be very careful around them. I, I happen to have been bit by plenty of these before, and I know that I don't react to the venom at all. The cool thing about these snakes is. Um, you know, whether, you know, I don't know if you guys saw the, the episode where we were, we found the wild timber rattler with my kids or whatever, but you handle the snake with respect, treat it like a nice snake. You know, I mean, the fact that they have venom, they, they don't know that, you know what I mean? Well, I don't know. Maybe and they don't want to use it on you neither. Yeah, maybe they do and they don't want to use it, but it just doesn't mean that because they have the capability of doing something that they're out to get you any more than your dog is. The dog could bite you, but it may or may not. This is another mangrove, but that's Gemisincta. It turned jet black. I got a- Oh, that's not the Gemisincta then. What's the- uh, uh, Sulawesi. Sulawesi, yeah, you're right. Oh, that's cool. I was thinking of the ones that turn blue as adults. Yeah, th them are nice. That's what I was thinking this was. But yeah, so the Sulawesi locality, uh, I don't think, is it a separate subspecies? 
everyone's smacking their heads on my ignorance right now. <laughs> but yeah, that is so cool. So they start out tricolor and they go solid black as an adult. Where that other baby, those actually are going to stay about what they are. But these things, look how many saddles they have. That huge saddle count. And that there's crazy rainbow, like from almost white yellow at the front to that blood red banding at the back. And then they lose it all. <laughs> no, let's see. Oh, are these the green, the green head? No, uh, I'm actually not sure to tell you the truth. Do you guys know what this is? We got a quiz for you. That's cool. Look, whatever it is, that's cool. Look at him. What's up, buddy? Look at that defensive posture. That's crazy. He's flattening himself out laterally. I'm so big. I'm so venomous. He's a cool looking snake. He's a very cool looking snake. I love it. He looks like your Eastern Sanzania. That's very cool, man. Thanks. The big question that everybody now that has stayed through and watched to the end is asking themselves, it's really none of your business at all, is what the heck do you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> you want to share? I'm a plumber. Yeah? That's yeah, Tradesman. So there you go. That's the Pittsburgh way. Plumber and apprentice for tattooing. Oh, okay. There you go. Yep. You let them all practice on you every time. Mm, no, this is actually. <laughs> oh, you paid for those too? Yeah, I got these. these well, buddy of mine hooks me up pretty good, so. There you go. Well, thanks, dude. I yeah. appreciate you. Oh, having no me. problem. That's man. the way we do it here in Pittsburgh. You guys take it easy and we'll catch you next time. Oh, thanks. don't don't forget to check out. You got your own YouTube channel. Yes, Trigger Reptiles. Trigger Reptiles. Yes. Check it out. You guys will have to come and watch me. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs>